of God's promise. 跟住黃牧師會傳講今日信息，題目係基督成就神的應許Gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you now. 慈悲人嘅天父，我哋嚟到你嘅面前。We ask that you would send your spirit to us. 我哋恳求你让你嘅灵嚟到我哋嘅当中。That you would make your presence known. 以致你嘅临在，我哋能够知晓。We are here gathered as your people. 当我哋喺呢度聚集，认你嘅子民嘅身份嘅时候。That we may hear from you. 能够向你嗰度听见。Give us receptive hearts. 俾我哋一个愿意接纳嘅心。Obedient minds. 一个顺服嘅思想。That you would bring to us your truth. 将你嘅真理可以临到我哋身上。That we would follow. 我哋能够去跟随。And that we would show the world that you are a God who is、uh, ever present in our lives. 以致我哋能够向个世界去宣讲你系一个永在嘅神。Lord, bless us in the hearing of your word. 当我哋去听你话语嘅时候，求你赐福。We ask this in Jesus' name. 我哋奉耶稣嘅名字去祈求。Amen. 阿门。You know, we make promises very easily. 我哋好容易就会作出承诺。But there are many promises that are very hard to keep. 但系好多嘅承诺系好难以去持守嘅。And although we make promises with good intentions, 虽然我哋作呢啲承诺嘅时候都系出于好意。But often, no matter how your intentions are. You don't have the ability to keep them. 但系无论你嘅好意系点样都好啦，呢啲去信守嘅承诺，我系冇呢个能力。One of them, those promises that come to mind. 我第一个谂起嘅一个承诺。You ever hear the promise says, "I will keep you safe and never let any harm come to you." 你有冇听过呢个承诺就系话我会保守你嘅安全，亦都唔会让任何嘅事情去伤害到你。That's something maybe a parent would make a promise to their children. 又话佢呢个承诺好多时候父母同儿女去作嘅。But that's a foolish promise. 但呢个承诺系愚昧嘅。And it's a promise that if we make it,、uh, we have to ask the question: Can we keep them? 咁如果我哋作出呢个承诺嘅时候，我哋要问自己个问题就系：我哋有冇呢个能力去持守呢个承诺 ？Is there anyone who can keep that promise? 亦都有冇一个人去能够持守呢个承诺 ？The problem lies in the fact that we as human beings are very limited. 呢、这個問題就在於我哋作為人類，我哋嘅能力係非常有限。We don't have the ability to keep our promises。我哋亦都冇呢個能力去持守我哋嘅承諾。We are very limited。我哋係好有限。Now this passage in scripture we read in Jeremiah。我哋睇呢篇嘅耶利米書嘅經文嘅時候。Enables us to see a God who does keep。And who was able to keep every one of his promises? We see a God who is able to keep every one of his promises. God has made a promise. God has God has made a promise. 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 God has made In Genesis 22, it tells us this promise. 创世记廿二章讲到呢个承诺。I will surely bless you, and I will surely multiply your offsprings as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in your offspring shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. 论福，我必赐大福给你；论子孙，我必叫你的子孙多起来，如同天上的星、海边的沙。你子孙必得着仇敌的城门，并且地上万国都必因你的后裔得福，因为你听从了我的话。This is a promise made to Abraham. 呢个承诺系对亚伯拉罕所作噶。But it would remain unfulfilled throughout the whole life of Abraham. 但喺亚伯拉罕嘅生前都未能够去成就。And this promise now. Was given again with greater focus to King David. 而呢个承诺喺一千一百年之后就向大卫王再举一个更大焦点嘅呢个承诺。And he restates this promise this way. 佢系咁样讲呢个承诺噶
to King David some 1,100 years later. We see in Samuel, 2 Samuel chapter 7. And he says, Your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. And so he makes this clearer focus of his promise to King David. And now in through his prophet Jeremiah. He reminds us of that promise. And we see here in verses uh, that we read in verse 14 and 16. Now, as the kingdom uh, of Israel was divided to a northern kingdom and a southern kingdom, God reminds them here that His promise was to all of His people, both Israel and Judah. And interestingly enough, this comes after the fall of Israel uh, to the Assyrians in 722 BC. He tell, reminds them that the descendant of David would rise up and bring justice and righteousness. That he would bring safety and security. Now, to the northern kingdom Israel, that was a promise that seems to have been uh, forgotten to them. But it was still something that what might have been possible for, for the southern kingdom, Judah. In the light of the fact that the throne of David was still remaining in Judah. But this too is lost. As the kingdom of Judah falls to the Babylonians in 586 BC. With the fall of the southern kingdom, how was this promise of God ever to be fulfilled? And that fulfillment is something the Israelites would not even hear. See during the lifetime of Jeremiah. It would not see fulfillment until some 1500 years later. From his initial promise. And so after Jeremiah, God fulfills his promise. Some 600 years later. And that fulfillment of his promise is what we celebrate today. The birth of Jesus Christ. The birth of Christ on Christmas Day. And as we look back some 2,000 years ago. But that fulfillment proves to us the faithfulness of God to His Word. In Isaiah chapter 55, it says, So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. God's word can be trusted because our sovereign God will always accomplish his purpose. Nothing in all of creation can ever stop or hinder the outcome of God's word. It is 
It is what God has designed, and it will happen. This is what God has designed, and it will happen. This is what God has designed, and it will happen. This is what God has designed, and it will happen. This is what God has designed, and it will happen. This is what God has designed, and it will happen. This is what God has designed, and it will happen. This is 从前你们的意思是要害我，但神的意思原是好的，要保存许多人的性命，成就今日的光景。It means no matter what the sinful and sin-filled world throws at the children of God。换句话嚟讲，就系话无论呢一个罪恶嘅世界或者当中嘅罪要向佢神嘅子女有任何冲击嘅时候 ，Our sovereign God, ruler of over all creation, will bring about the good He has meant for us. 掌權嘅神仍然能夠將佢所定下嘅美意去帶俾我哋。You know, 呢啲嚟自對抗我哋嘅邪惡。Whether it's from our boss at work， 無論係嚟自你工作上嘅上司 ，our teacher at school， 學校嘅老師 ，even from our loved ones， 甚至乎我哋嘅摯愛。The evil your your spouse or your children or your parent might bring against you， 甚至乎當中你嘅伴侶、你嘅父母、你嘅兒女能夠帶嚟嘅邪惡。Or maybe it's from some inhuman source. 又或者嚟自一啲非人类嘅源头。A hurricane. 台风。A flood. 水灾。There are so many natural disasters. 或者无数嘅自然灾害。Such as disease, cancer. 譬如话疾病就好似癌症一样。Or even this pandemic of the coronavirus. 甚至乎我哋而家讲紧嘅疫症新冠病毒。Yes, even the coronavirus. 冇錯，包括呢個新冠病毒。All within the good and perfect will of God. 全部都係神美好嘅旨意當中嘅。God will always make it turn out for good for His people. 為著佢子民嘅益處，神能夠將佢嘅旨意將一切變為美好。That is the promise that God has made to His people. 呢個就係神對佢子民所作出嘅應許。And this is the beauty of knowing, truly knowing, and believing and trusting in our God. 呢個就係能夠去真正知道、相信、信靠神所帶嚟嘅美麗。That no matter what this world throws at us， 無論呢個世界對我哋有乜嘢嘅衝擊 ，God will always bring about good for His people。神為著佢嘅子民都會將佢成為一個美意。And therefore, it's good to be counted as among His people。所以能夠被算為神嘅子民係一件美好嘅事情。Christmas is God fulfilling His great promise in a spectacular way。聖誕就係神用一個嘆為觀止嘅形式去成就佢嘅應許。See the birth of Jesus comes in spite of all the evil forces arrayed against his birth。無論撒但用幾多邪惡嘅攻擊去攻擊耶穌嘅時候，呢個都係嚟到耶穌嘅誕生。We see that Herod killed all the babies two years and under in age. Just to think that he could stop the birth of Jesus. 我哋睇到希律王點樣要殺害兩歲以下嘅嬰孩，目的就係要殺害阻止耶穌嘅出世。And even at at the very moment of his birth, there was no room for him, and he was born in a dirty manger. 就算當耶穌出世嘅時候，都冇一個好嘅地方為佢預備，只能夠在於一個好空莊嘅馬槽裏邊。And so if we just look around the birth of Jesus. We would see how improbable, even impossible, it was for Jesus to be born. 我哋睇到當耶穌出世嘅時候，環境嘅唔艱難同埋一切嘅唔可能就發生咗喺呢度。Yet he was born. 但係佢就係咁樣去出世。An unlikely king. 一個不尋常嘅王。The son of a carpenter. 一個木匠嘅兒子。This baby was from the branch of David. 呢個就係由大衛嘅子孫下出現嘅嬰孩。And we find his his lineage in the the first chapter of Matthew。我哋亦都睇到佢族譜喺馬太福音第一章嗰度。David was a descendant of Abraham。大衛就係亞伯拉罕嘅子孫。Jesus was born of Joseph。係耶穌係約瑟之後。A descendant of David。大衛嘅後裔。Jesus who sits on the throne of David。耶穌就係坐在大衛王嘅寶座上邊。But he would not do so during his lifetime on this earth。唔係喺佢在生之年，在世之位。Nor would he sit on a throne in this world。亦都冇坐在喺呢個世界任何嘅寶座上邊。Jesus, the Son of God, sits on the eternal throne in heaven over all creation。耶穌作為神嘅兒子，就係坐在喺天國上永恆嘅寶座，去管理萬物。And his reign shall never lack and never come to an end. 而佢嘅統治係永不短缺，亦都沒有終結
And at times as we live today, we might, it might seem like God is not in control. You know, with our society and even the world seem to be running out of control. You know, with tensions and conflicts everywhere. And we see morality and even human dignity plunging downwardly. And we are tempted, therefore, to cry out, Where is our Lord and Savior? Just as Judah and Israel cried out in the midst of their troubles. In John chapter 12, it tells us, I have come into the world as light, so that whoever believes in me may not remain in darkness. If anyone hears my words and does not keep them, I will not judge him. For I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not receive my words has a judge. The word that I have spoken will judge him on the last day. God's purpose for the birth of Jesus Christ was to save the world from sin. He was born to be crucified for our sins. Crucified on a cross reserved for the worst of, of criminals. And it was a purpose that Jesus accomplished as he goes to the cross. Willingly to die for our sins in our place. The sins that we committed, the sins that we were rightfully do God's punishment, but it was taken on by Christ, sinless yet bearing our sins. He paid our penalty. And so in, in Jesus saving us, he fulfills the promise in verse 16. And yet we see that the grave could not hold our king. Jesus rose and ascended into heaven and sits on the, the right hand of God the Father. Ruling over heaven and earth. Now, I have been in a hospital six times. And each one of those uh, times, uh, it was life threatening situations. And I presently have a perpetual. Uh, uh, Problem, medical problem. I have congestive heart disease. Yet I know that Jesus Christ, my King, is good. I know because He has given His life to save me. That He gave His life to save me from the grips of sin. In giving his life as a sacrifice for my very own life, he fulfills that second half of God's promise in verse 18. Jesus is the priest, the high priest that will always in the be in the presence of God the Father. In verse in Hebrew chapter 7, it tells us, But he holds his priesthood permanently because he continues forever. Consequently, he is able to save to the uttermost those who draw near to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. 
他祭司的职任就长久不更换。凡靠着他进到神面前的人，他都能拯救到底，因为他是长远活着，替他们祈求。The self-sacrifice of Jesus on that cross was sufficient to pay for all of our sins. All the sins that we committed, that, that belong to us, the sins yesterday, today, and forever. He is our mediator. That enables us to bring our prayers to God. That we need no other mediator but Christ Himself. So in Romans chapter 12, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. 所以弟兄们，我以神的慈悲劝你们，将身体献上，当作活祭，是圣洁的，是神所喜悦的。你们如此侍奉，乃是理所当然的。So as our mediator， 作为我哋嘅中保 ，Jesus intercedes for us and makes our offering of our bodies as a living sacrifice acceptable to God。耶稣基督嘅代求，就让我哋能够将身体嘅活祭成为神所悦纳嘅。That's the only reason why our sacrifice of our lives。Is acceptable to God because Christ is interceding on our behalf. 正正就系因为耶稣基督为我哋代求，我哋嘅生命先至能够去献上俾神。So we can be assured. 所以我哋可以肯定嘅就系。That even when we fail and when we do sin. 当我哋失败，当我哋去犯罪嘅时候。Which we all do and will always continue to do. 我哋所。While we are on this earth. 当我哋喺世上嘅时候，我哋所有人都会做，亦都一定会做。Jesus, our mediator, makes an acceptable sacrifice to God for the forgiveness of our sins. 我哋嘅中保耶稣基督就作出一个神所悦纳嘅祭，以致我哋嘅罪能够得到赦免。And so we can be confident that God promises are true. 所以我哋我哋应该好清楚知道神嘅应许系真实。That our sins are forgiven in Christ. 喺基督里边，我哋嘅罪不得饶恕。And that His sacrifice is for all the sins of His people. And it tells us again how important it is to be God's people. So, this is very clear to say that as God's people, it is a very important thing. And more importantly now, to ask ourselves, are you counted as one of God's people? 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 Are you Trusting fully upon Jesus Christ. You are not completely trusting on Jesus Christ. Because God doesn't receive us based on our own merits. Because God is not based on our own merits. It's only because of Jesus Christ and His righteousness. It's only because of Jesus Christ and His righteousness. It's only because of Jesus Christ and His righteousness. It's only because of Jesus Christ and His righteousness. It's only because of Jesus Christ and His righteousness. It's only because of Jesus Christ and His righteousness. It's only because of Jesus Christ and His righteousness. It's only because of Jesus Christ and His righteousness. The declaration of the name of the branch of David. 就系宣称到大卫后裔嘅名字。Jesus tells us of this very important aspect of himself. 耶稣就讲到佢自己本身一个好重要嘅层面。He not only executes justice and righteousness in verse 15; he is righteousness embodied. 佢不单止喺十五节讲到佢系施行公平同公义嗰个，佢自己本身就系公义嘅体现。In other words, it's very important for us to understand that Jesus Christ was sinless. 好重要，我哋要明白一点就系耶稣佢本身系冇罪嘅。And it is Jesus' sinlessness that enables him to be an acceptable sacrifice for our sins. 正正就系因为耶稣基督嘅无罪，以致佢嘅牺牲能够系为着我哋嘅罪去做。Because it means that he did not have to pay for the penalty of his own sins. 即系话佢唔需要为着佢自己嘅罪去付上赎价。And so he can now take the punishment for us. 所以佢就能够为我哋付上呢个赎价。And so we need to view the sinlessness, the righteousness of Christ, completely. 所以我哋要能够好完整嘅去睇到神嘅无罪同埋佢嘅公义。In verse 15, it tells us that he executes justice and righteousness. 十五节讲到佢系施行公平同公义噶。You know, God's justice means that He never lets any sin go unpunished. 换句话嚟讲，神嘅公义唔会让任何罪成为无罪。
And now many of us look around the world us to, around us today. And sometimes we ask the question, is this truly uh, uh, you know, true? And often we see uh, the world and even Christians now think in terms of our present age. And we only see things within our time frame. Not considering the existence of reality of the spiritual world and eternity. You know, when uh, God makes this promise in Luke chapter 2, in this declaration, and the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Now, this good news on Christmas Day, at the birth of Jesus Christ, was given to simple shepherds. They were living out their life of drudgery, watching over sheep. Under the rule of the powerful and cruel Roman Empire. You know, they lived a life without much promise or hope in their lifetime. They'll be watching sheep for the rest of their lives. I know none of us have experience of watching sheep. That every day they would do the same thing after. Now sometimes when we go to work, we feel that way, right? And the same thing day after day. And so they lived now without much promise. And as we look around us, as the world seems to be spiraling down a dark abyss of despair, it might seem like there's not much hope in this world. See, but the fulfillment of God's promise with the birth of Jesus Christ was to bring a renewed hope to a hopeless world. A guarantee of justice and righteousness against all the wrongs in this world. And although we might see it today, but the justice Christ will execute, it tells us, is in the last day. That all unrighteousness will be dealt with by, by the Lord, and his judgment hangs over the heads of everyone in the world. But for those who believe and trust in our Lord Jesus, the words fear not brings real comfort and joy. That God telling us fear not. No matter what is happening around us. The wrath of God against all unrighteousness is answered by Christ on the cross. Not only does he take away our, the punishment for our sins, but he gives us his righteousness that we place our trust and faith in him. And with, that right, with his righteousness comes the gift of the Holy Spirit. As he enters the hearts of all believers. And the deposit of the Spirit in your heart is the assurance that we belong to Him. Christ is the fulfillment of all the promises of God. 
。基督就係對所有應許喺預備嘅認知之下。He is the fulfillment in the fullest sense of that promise。亦都對佢嘅應許用一個最完備嘅情況之下去成就。Christ is the peace and joy of Christmas。基督就係聖誕所講嘅平安同埋喜樂。So Christmas is not to be a frivolous holiday。所以聖誕節唔係應該只係一個浮誇嘅節日。Just filled with festivities, bright lights, and beautiful decorations。或者單單充斥住唔同嘅活動、明亮嘅燈飾，甚至係美麗嘅裝置。I know many of us will enjoy good food and、uh, many gifts。我知道好多人會享受美好嘅食物同埋禮物。But Christmas is meant to be More than that. 但係聖誕嘅意義係更深層次。It's a time to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. 就係要慶祝我哋耶穌基督嘅誕生。Our Lord and Savior. 我哋嘅主，我哋嘅救主。So when the world now changes Merry Christmas to Happy Holidays. 所以當呢個世界將聖誕快樂改成為節日快樂嘅時候。It is an affront to the glory of God. 係對神嘅榮耀一個好大嘅侮辱。Christmas is a time. That Christians stand proudly and boldly for the joy that Jesus brings into our lives. 圣诞节系应该属于基督徒能够好自豪、好勇敢嘅企起嚟，系为着耶稣基督将佢嘅喜乐带到喺我哋生命里边。Christmas is an opportunity for us to share this wonderful news. 圣诞节亦都系一个机会，让我哋将美好嘅消息同其他人分享。It's good news that the world is as they are grasping for hope. 就系让呢个世界能够找紧呢个盼望。Don't let them drown in the misery of their lives as they try to、uh, to deal with it in this brief moment of senseless festivities. 唔好让佢哋喺无意义嘅庆祝、喺活动嘅短暂时去作出呢啲生活嘅痛苦，系冇能够去承受。As they try to drown out that misery of their lives. 当我哋将佢生活嘅痛苦喺生命里当中去切除嘅时候。Let us give them the greatest gift of Christmas. 让我哋俾佢圣诞呢个最大嘅礼物。The gift of Jesus Christ， 就系耶稣基督呢份礼物。This Christmas, God will bring many people across your life。圣诞节呢一个日子会喺你生命里边带嚟好多唔同嘅人。Many people who need to hear the saving news of Jesus Christ。好多人要相要应该听到呢一个拯救嘅耶稣基督嘅好消息。As we were saying before, 就好似我哋先前所講嘅。As we are so so often so busy going around buying gifts, 當我哋好忙碌於去出去買禮物嘅時候 ，You already have the most precious gift that you can give. 我哋已經有一個我哋最寶貴可以同人哋分享嘅禮物。And so let us plead to our high priest in heaven. 所以讓我哋向我哋嘅大祭司，我哋嘅君王去恳求。Our King in heaven. 我哋喺天上嘅王。Jesus Christ. 耶穌基督。That He would. Enable us to bring this good news to the, all those people that need him. 让我哋能够将呢个好消息带到俾所有需要嘅人。And then by his grace, 亦都跟着佢嘅恩典 ，he will enable them to see and believe in him. 让我哋能够看见，亦都去相信佢。That they too would have truly hope in the promise of God. 亦都让佢哋能够得到神嘅应许，得到呢个盼望。Let us spend our Christmas meaningfully. 让我哋能够有意义嘅去过呢个圣诞节。And share with them Christ. 让分享呢个基督嘅信息。Something that you possess. 一啲你拥有嘅。As you know Christ yourself. 因为你自己本身已经认识咗耶稣基督。Let us let us join together in prayer. 让我哋一同嘅去祷告。I want us to spend a moment in silent prayer, each and every one of us. 我哋每一個人都有一刻嘅靜默嘅時間去默禱。As we would take on this commandment of God， 讓我哋都去思考到神嘅大假命。That we would bring good news， 就係我哋將呢個嘅好消息。Let's ask for the strength and courage to do so。求神俾我哋力量同埋勇氣。That we will show forth Christ on Christmas. 喺圣诞节去彰显耶稣基督。
Your gracious Heavenly Father. Lord, we come before you and ask that you would grant to us a humble and contrite spirit. Lord, that we would seek your forgiveness. For, Lord, we often forget uh, our, our responsibility. Our, our purpose to share the wonderful news of Jesus Christ. Lord, forgive us for getting caught up with the, the ways of the world. We forget, oh Lord, that you have given us this precious gift. A precious gift that you intend for us to re-give. A gift that would be more precious to those who receive it. Lord, give us truly a desire to do so. Give us the boldness and strength to actually give this gift to those around us. So that Christ will be glorified. As we celebrate his birth. That it will be truly about Christ. We ask this in the precious name of our Savior Jesus. Amen. Amen.